what's up, everybody? It's Dave. And first, we want to apologize for missing so many days of our daily Bible reading. And But we'll just continue on from where we left off before. So for those of you that have been following along, uh, we are in the book of Matthew, chapter 25. And we're almost done with the book of Matthew. So uh, today we'll be covering topics of the parable of the wise and foolish virgins, the parable of the talents, the Son of Man will judge the nations. And there's a total of 46 verses in today's reading. We are reading out of the New King James Version today. If you would like a copy of this Bible, you can actually uh, click one of the links down below. I like this one a lot. It does, uh, along the bottom of it, it shows kind of some of the differences of what's been omitted um, in other versions compared to this one. So. <clears throat> All right, so Matthew chapter 25, and we'll go ahead and get started. The parable of the wise and foolish, foolish virgins. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins, who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise, and five of them were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you got the, enough oil in your lamps. Be prepared. That's what that's talking about. Be prepared. The parable of the talents. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he, who had received the five talents, went and traded with them, and made another five talents. And likewise, who he who had received, uh, who had received gained two more talents also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his lord's money. After a long time, the lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents beside them. His lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over the few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you were to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gathered where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has... More will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away and cast to the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Son of Man will judge the nations. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep 
from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger, and take you in, or naked, and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick, or in prison, and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. They will also answer, then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to the one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So that concludes chapter 25 of Matthew. Covered uh, a lot of things. Every single word in those 46 verses were in red. Every single word of those were the words of God. So definitely something to think about. I know I struggle a lot with giving um, to beggars we'll call them people that you see you know on the side of the road and the reason being is because you know all of us have seen some of them even videos on on youtube and, and facebook and such where people have caught them you know getting into their really brand new you know they're they're really really nice vehicles and obviously they're not hurting that's just their job so they're not they're not a person in need they're not hungry they're not thirsty you know these things but what about those that truly are is it for us to to judge who's truly needing it and or you know or who's not is it up to us to make that decision or should we just give you know i don't know it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a really uh, strong strong point of contention for me just because you know i give you money you know and you you go out and, and buy something else with it you know alcohol or whatnot so but at the same time maybe i could buy you some food and then bring it there if you're saying that you're hungry so something to think about i don't know let me know what you think put your put your little comments down below you know faith hope and charity and the greatest of these is charity that's the bible verse some of the people want to change that to faith hope and love but it's faith hope and charity charity it's pretty important all right so hopefully um we can get back on schedule now just had a lot the last few days that have taken place so hopefully we can get back on schedule and Tomorrow will be on uh, chapter 26, and it starts out with the plot to kill Jesus. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. God bless. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dave. I just want to do a real quick thank you. Appreciate you watching our videos. Um, if you've noticed, we've mentioned a couple of things uh, that you can purchase. We are uh, Amazon affiliates, so if you check out the links below, there's a few links there, uh, depending upon the video that you're watching. So... Um, if you uh, purchase something through there, we get a small commission at no additional cost to you. So if you uh, would like to support this channel, that's definitely one way that you can do it. Um, we also have our website, everdave.com, um, and then byfaithclothing.com, which is this shirt that we're wearing here. So, um, And then we have our YouTube channel that you're watching now, and then we have our book of poetry, which we have links to that down below as well. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your support. As always, thank you. God bless.